Hello, everyone. We are back again to the third video for King's Sign Informative Video Series. In this video, we would like to analyze, understand, and simulate a DF by DT signal and DV by DT signal from a relay test kit. For this simulation, we are using an automatic relay test kit, digital oscilloscope, and a sampling value analyzer for analyzing sampling value. Have you ever figured out the difference between the ramping and the DF by DT of signals? Let's try to understand by looking on the waveform in both the conditions. On the left side of this screen, we have shown the frequency ramping of voltage signal. Well, at the right side of this screen, we have shown DF by DT signal waveform. As we can see, both frequency ramping the DF by DT. The frequency of voltage signal is changing respect to time. The only difference is that the frequency ramping the rate of change is not linear. The signal changes after fixed time interval and remains constant till the next time interval. On the other side, the DF by DT the signal changes linearly 516 times in the cycle. Now we are simulating DF by DT signal in state sequencer model of KRT software. First, we are entering in time signal view and selecting the signals for which we want to observe the waveform. We have selected a voltage and current signal. In the time signal view, it will help us to compare a normal signal waveform with DF and DT waveform. Now, in advanced view, we are entering setting to increase a 20 Hz signal with DF by DT of 16 Hz per second. We have set the time at 0.5 seconds. As we play the signal, we will observe the real getting similar waveform in the oscilloscope. Now, we will simulate the same waveform using sampling value generator of K3163i. Then later, observe them in sampling value analyzer. Let's enter the system configuration and select IC61815-9-2. Here, in the system configuration, we can enter an existing SCD or IED file of power system and later export those settings into the relay test kit. As we press the play button, and the same waveform can be observed in sampling value analyzer also. The above form is a voltage signal undergoing DF by DT with 16 Hz per second increase. Hence, this is very clearly visible. The frequency in the starting left side of waveform is less. Well, it increased linearly till reach to the right side of waveform. Let's now try to simulate a voltage signal of 20 volts and perform DF by DT of 16 volts per second. We are setting the test time as one second. Now if we observe the sampling value output in frame width, we will note that magnitude of voltage signal is increasing from 20 to 15 volts in 0.5 seconds with DF by DT of 16 volts per second. Our test time is of 1 second. Hence the 15 volts constant signal is generated for next 0.5 seconds. It's clearly visible in frame width. In the last simulation, let's try to simulate a voltage signal with DF by DT of 14 volts per second and DF by DT of 13 Hz together. We can observe in sampling value waveform that both the magnitude and the frequency of voltage signal are increasing linearly with time. Also, the waveform is similar in KRT software time signal view, 
we wish that by this video we can able to show capability of K13 series in generating analog and sampling value waveform. The KRT software with time signal view is very helpful in protection relay testing.